Warning, the following game which you're about to view is rated M for Mature due to blood and gore and violence. Also, this is a horror game. There will be plenty of scary moments. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to this play Resident Evil Zero Blind. Last video, I got items from puzzle solving that allow me to explore a lot of rooms, which is great. And now I found a cable car, so I'm just trying to get back. But unfortunately, while I was able to transfer some items over and such, I was not able to get the hook shot through the elevator. Which probably means I'm supposed to drop it by that uh, ladder point that I saw. And then Billy picks it up. That's a guess. Just a guess. I don't know. But I did save the game, so if anything terrible should happen, because this might also be an upcoming boss fight which will entirely screw me over, um. Yeah. Okay, I can walk around. Yeah, sure, climb the ladder. Where will it take me in the room exactly? Um, and this is useful. Why? I don't know. I'll have to pick those up when I am not holding a giant freaking hook shot. <coughs> so let's figure out what to do with the hook shot. This hookshot is the cause of almost all the problems in this game, it seems. I hate the hookshot in this so much. Why couldn't it just be a one-slot item? If you're gonna have to use it this many times, at least make it smaller. Maybe I can exchange. I... Oh, uh, no, I can't. Alright. So, how do I... You know, Billy's gonna have to drop something, actually. Drop the ink ribbons for now, I guess. Um, that's just great. Okay, fine. I'll go down the ladder. Can I interact with this yet? Okay. There we go. All right. Good. <coughs> I can drop this hook shot and get all the other items that were upstairs. Give it to Billy. No, oh my gosh, I keep hitting examine. There. Now, I am going to get my other stuff. There were some ink ribbons I never picked up. And there are also the Molotov cocktails that I want to pick back up. There's also some more of that, uh, gasoline, but, um, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm already sort of tight with my inventory as it is.
All right, cool. I wonder if there's going to be a boss after I take care of all this stuff. Hold on. Should I do some mixing set stuff? Because there was another canister down there, and that might have been blue. Maybe I can create some sulfuric acid? Okay, yeah, that's the red. And we'll see if blue is downstairs. Because I haven't gotten to test that one yet. I don't know what to use sulfuric acid for yet, but there will be a purpose for it for sure. Now, wait. If I take that cable car, will there be no turning back? Which means I'd lose out on the grenade launcher. I'm a little worried about that. Again, I don't really have inventory space, but I wouldn't want to completely abandon that. But okay, let's finally head downstairs and pick up all the other ink ribbons. I have so many ink ribbons. I've really got nothing to worry about here. What's that? I don't know, but whatever it is, I probably won't be able to pick it up. What is it? What is that? I don't know, but I feel like whoever's gonna use the hookshot should have it. So I'm just gonna leave this here and pick it up. Hopefully it only requires one slot. The output- Oh, Okay, can I combine them? No. But I'm gonna need them! Alright, let's use the hook shot again. I really hope this is the last time I'll ever need this item. I don't want to have to lug it around all the time. Shotgun shells. Isn't Rebecca the one with the shotgun? Darn it! I'm unlocking this door. There. Okay, Rebecca, pick up the shotgun shells. I'm full. I can't really give them to you. Should I just take the extra Molotov cocktails? Probably. Whenever Billy gets an extra space, I can give him half. Alright, let's get the shotgun shells. Hi, Billy. There we go. Yes, I can. So let's do it. I think I want to get some of those. Items. Okay, there we go. Let's exchange... There we go. Alright, and put this in. Alright! This reminds me of RE2.
Who's got the ink ribbons? Rebecca. I'm afraid of what lies beyond this area. And if I might potentially lose items for good if I don't take anything with me. So, um... I'm gonna save. Hey, I've got a ton of ink ribbons. Might as well make use of them. I'm just a little nervous, okay? There. We can go together. At last. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Finally teamed up. It's been a long time. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that I didn't find any grenade ammo in this place. Alright, let's go inside. And get attacked by William Birkin. I'm sorry. That's a couple months later. Oh. I'm really glad I saved because I might have otherwise been screwed. What is it? Oh, what's going on? Oh! Well, at least I still have these! Now, are we treating this as a boss this time? Oh, it takes too long to use that! Am I almost dead? Uh, not quite yet. Okay. And what about Billy? I don't know. Really glad I kept some of those. But where could Billy have gone? This doesn't go any further down. I. Oh boy. That had different music, so it was almost like they were treating that as a boss encounter. And the power's out. Do I even want to know what's happening? Really glad I saved. Leeches. I really don't want to have to use a shotgun here. Seems like all I have to do is step on them, at least. Alright, there. But still, what happened to- Maybe I'll find out here. Maybe not. So, what happens to Billy now? He had all that handgun ammo. Um, did I use my first aid spray yet? I really hope not. Oh, I'm sorry, it was mixed herbs. And no, I did not use them. Good. So I still have a heal to rely on. Oh my gosh. I want to get my magnum ammo. Where was that? I don't know. Was it all the way back here? You've got to be joking. I'm going to want to go back. Because this is the Magnum. <coughs> I 
Actually, what am I doing? I don't need to that much inventory, do I? Well, let's bring the grenade launcher over, I guess. Yeah, all right. There shouldn't be any enemies along the way, so I should be okay to do this. And it might not be a bad idea. But it is going to be a long run back. Still, if the game's going to give me magnum ammo, I want to make use of magnum ammo. Oh, I guess this is also a red chemical. Okay, then. Let's go. Okay, so how many inventory slots am I going to need? I think it's grenade launcher, acid rounds, and magnum ammo. Because I used up the flame rounds. All of them. On the giant bat. <laughs> Shoot! This game's on to me. It knew you might backtrack. So only threw some zombies in. Great. Oh, what else am I going to have to worry about on the way back? I only have the magnum on me, so I don't want to use that on a zombie. Now I'm worried. Okay, looks like nothing else spawned here, so that's good. Let's just run over here then. We're fine. It's only those two zombies I have to worry about. Two zombies. I can certainly handle two zombies. Even if unarmed. This music still doesn't get any easier to listen to. Okay, let's just get the magnum ammo. I don't think there's anything else I want to take. Wouldn't have to do this if item boxes were a thing. <laughs> Is this the magnum ammo? Yes. Alright, let's let's just check the map quick. Oh! You know what? What's in here? Can I even open this? It's probably just something I missed. Cause I haven't seen anything else. I don't know. Let's just look at it more carefully, perhaps. Anything? Okay, come on. There's gotta be something on this. It's not a combination lock. Looking closely, it's 385. Okay. It was on here the whole time. What, what's inside? Handgun upgrade? Oh my gosh. I can't even use that right now. Well, I mean, there's a handgun here, but... Why waste it? I'm not even going to take it with me. Unfortunately, I'll have to put something down now because I'm not going to have enough inventory space. You know what? If I get bit by a zombie, we just use the healing item. Oh, uh, time's up. I'm going to have to journey back 
and I'll I'll do that off screen so that next video we can actually get moving. Until then though, this is Mateus 109 and have a nice day.